Hey everybody, uh, this one's Central Angles and Inscribed Angles of Circles, so module 24.1 in our Integrated Math 3 book. So what are the measures of central angles and inscribed angles of a circle? Okay, sorry about the length of this lesson. I guess it's like medium long, you guys. So we need our textbooks. In two lessons, we're going to get a worksheet, but uh, I need it today and for the next lesson. And then the third lesson, I'm going to do a review and give you a review handout, okay? All right, so draw a big circle, you guys. Circles are named by their center. So if that's center P, then this would be circle P, and that's how we um, abbreviate circle P. I guess I forgot to do a quote mark right there, so there should be like a little extra quote mark right there. I don't know. No, something like that. Uh, anyway. Uh, all right, that's not going to be in the next clicks right there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so... <clears throat> You guys remember radius? Do you remember diameter? How about most of my kids, uh, they couldn't remember this one. This is called a chord. Okay, and then a line that contains a chord is called a secant. Okay, a line that touches just the outside of a circle is called a tangent. Okay, and that place where it touches, that one place where it touches is called the point of tangency. All right, all right, so angles, you guys, this is called a central angle. If the vertex is at the center of the circle, it's called a central angle. So here, angle P is a central angle. Here's a, an inscribed angle. An inscribed angle is where the vertex is on the circle. So angle A is an inscribed angle. Okay, so here's a, a few definitions. An arc is a continuous portion of a circle consisting of two points that are called the endpoints of the arc and, uh, and all the points uh, uh, on the circle between them. I'll show you what that means in just a second. So the measure of a minor arc is equal to the measure of its central angle. So let's say that's 85 degrees, then this arc right here would also be 85 to be degrees. And this is how we label it. This says arc AB, arc AB. So the measure of arc AB is equal to the measure of that central angle. Now all of my kids remembered that a circle is 360 degrees right there, so all the way around right there. Now I can do another bigger circle, and I can do a bigger circle, as long as it has the same center angle, then whatever this uh, angle is, then all of the arcs out here would be the same. The lengths are different, but that's uh, when we get into the next module on circumference. Um, that's a different story, but the measures of the angles are, are always the same as the central angle. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the measure of a, mi a major arc is 360 minus the measure of the corresponding central angle. So major arcs, we've got to use three letters. So that's why I said ADB. Because if I said AB, it's always the one that's less than half of a circle. Okay, so, so whatever this arc is, this angle is the same. And so then this arc, arc ADB, the measure of that arc is equal to 360 minus um, the measure of this angle, or 360 minus the measure of that arc right there. Okay, and the measure of a semicircle is 180 degrees, and like a, a major arcs, we have to use three letters to show semicircle arcs. Okay, so arc, because if I said arc AB, am I talking about that side or that side? So it just depends. You, um, our textbook's going to have a lot of other features in there. So. So I'm going to say uh, arc ADB, okay? So it equals 180 on that. <clears throat> okay, uh, minor arcs are always less than 180, and major arcs are always greater than 180, okay? The arc addition postulate just says that this piece plus this piece equals the whole piece. That's all arc addition postulates. Kind of looks like segment addition postulate or angle addition postulate. Works the same for arc addition postulate. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in BCD. Here's BCD. So this little angle right here is 18 degrees. And this arc right here is 33 degrees. Let's put those in real quick, okay? And then it says find all of those, okay. All right, now there's several ways to do this. I was teaching this to my class this morning. If that's 33, that's 33, and that little angle right there is also 33. So is that vertical angle, so is that arc, so is that arc right there. Okay, if that's 18, that's 18, that's 18. Okay, so let's let's um, uh, angle ECF. Uh, so here's ECF. So it's going to be the same as that arc, 33 degrees right there. Okay, <clears throat> and then notice 
this angle is a vertical angle with this one right here. So I put the 33 over here so we can see that, that AB is also going to be 33 right there. Okay, ABD, here's ABD. Well, if that's 18, this is 18 out here. So the arc addition postulate says we can add 33 plus 18, and that's going to give us uh, 51 degrees. All right, okay, <clears throat> so from 3 o'clock to 3.30, what is the measure of the arc formed by the minute hand? Okay, so I'm sorry, did I say 3 o'clock at 3.10. There's 3.10 and then 3.30. All right, so if I went from here all the way around to there, that would be 360 degrees. Well, there's 12 equal pieces in here. If we took 360 and divided it by 12, that means this little piece is 30 degrees, 30 degrees. Every five minutes, it's 30 degrees. So uh, we can do 30 times 4, which is 120, or we can realize that this is one-third of a circle, so one-third of 360 is also 120. Both ways will do that. Okay, inscribed angles. The measure of an inscribed angle is equal to half whatever the intercepted arc is. So if this is 60 degrees, this would be 30 degrees. And if this was 40 degrees, this would be 80 degrees. This angle is half of this arc right there. Okay, inscribed angles that intercept a semicircle are right angles because inscribed angles are half of their arcs. And so since it's a semicircle, this is half of a circle, so 180, half of that's 90, so it's going to be 90, okay? So find the measure of each. Okay, so let's see, the uh, arc DE, where's DE? So here's arc DE. Do you see this inscribed angle right here? This is half of this arc. Watch, I'll, I'll extend the sides of that angle right there. Okay, that 54 is half of the intercepted arc, so it's, this is 108, 108, sorry. <clears throat> The measure of arc BD. Okay, where's BD? Okay, so here's BD. BD. It's less than 180, so I can say BD. I'm going to add the arc addition postulate says this angle, or this arc plus this arc, so it's going to be 18 plus 108, which is 126. Okay, the measure of angle DAB. So D. A, B, okay, well, if this whole arc is 126, then this inscribed angle is half of that, okay? Uh, one of my students said, well, remember, if this was 18, this would be 9, so 54 plus 9. The angle addition postulate from a while ago is also 63, okay? A, D, E, where's A, D, E? A, D, E, okay, notice how it intercepts that semicircle, so it's half of the 180, so it's 90. Measure of arc AB. Okay, <clears throat> I forgot which way I did it, but I think I'm just going to take off this 18 from this 180. I think that's way I did it. So yeah, I did. Okay, so that diameter gives us 180, so it's um, 180 minus 18. All right, let's do the same with this one. A bunch of inscribed angles. Let's put in those numbers right there. So this angle is 15, and this arc is 94. Angle EDF is 15. And arc AF is 94. Okay, if that's 15, that's 30. Okay, if that's 94, this is going to be 47 over here. Look, I got a diameter right there. So this is a right angle right there because it's a semicircle. Let's see. So anyway, so it says uh, find this arc right here, AB. So it's 180 minus the 94, 86. Find FE. FE is twice that, that 15, so it's 30. Okay, find arc AE. Okay, so AE is going to be 94 plus 30, 124. Find angle ABE. Here's angle ABE. It's going to be half of this arc, which is 124, so half of that's 62. Find the measure of angle FBE. Here's FBE, so it's going to be half this 30 right there, so um, uh, which is 15. And there's a theorem that this book didn't cover yet. It says inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent. If that's 15, that's 15 because they're both intercepting that 30, so they're both half. All right, if you guys are in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.